Welcome back to another episode of the Bear Trap on the Boomer Bus channel, a Bears podcast by a Bears fan. I'm your host, Terry, and today we are looking at the Mitch Trubisky incomplete passes against the Kansas City Chiefs from last night's loss. So uh, once again, Christmas come early, I guess. The film is up. Um, usually it comes out on Tuesday. Um, but probably they put it out because it's going to be Christmas Eve. I just realized that. But either way, the film is up. And so uh, we'll dive into it and, uh, you know, do what we usually do. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, talking about 16 plays here. Most likely go through them all. If not, then we don't. <laughs> but let's see. All right. So we got three to the left. We got a motion. So now it's a two-by-two two pistol, play action, roll out, and almost intercepted. But again, these one of those plays that even if it was completed, you, you're talking about like a two-yard gain because the guy's right on them, and yeah, that, that would have been done. So when you do this play action roll out, we only got half the field here, but we got a flood concept. And actually, let me slow that down uh to see so we got the flat level then we'll have the mid level then what should be more of a deeper route and whoever that is i can't see really got underneath that mid level route and the deep one was covered too so not going to say that trubisky should have went elsewhere um yeah at that point, just throw it away. I mean, I guess you could go for the two yards. I'm sorry. I take that back, Trubisky. You could have went for the two yards. That's fine. Not going to blame him on that. So, anyway, a little bit of a rollout. So, we got half the field here. And, again, you got naked. So, we got a guy unblocked. So, you know that's going to be part of it. Just, just good defense. I will... Uh, What's the word? I'll take that back. I apologize. All right, so a little two by two. Second down looks like. So we got a really tough pass um, that ended up being incomplete. Let's look at the routes. So we know we had the vert on that side. We got a curl inside, curl outside, curl. Yep, our sexy curl pattern with the one vertical. Tried to take a shot, which I'm not mad at. Uh, let's see that again. Safeties are creeping up. There's a lot of movement going on. I mean, not bad. Not not bad as far as putting it um, in the back shoulder position so the receiver could come underneath it. It was just a little too high. Uh, but you know they're going to take their shots with Allen Robinson. And the pocket wasn't terrible. Let's see again. And this is Coward still in. So a lot of people bail. But yeah, nobody's off their block. I mean, I think Trubisky had the space to put the ball up. It's just a little inaccurate. All right, so first and 10. Out of the shoddy, motioning over, three to the right. Play action, movement play again. And this was sickening. Oh, it hurt. Not, not that it was the pass was sickening. It was just hurt. Because you had out of this bunch trip where it looks like a fake crackdown. And then Robinson just takes off. And this was such, now this is a play uh, design that I like um, because what happens is you got so many people playing up around the line of scrimmage and moving around. This vertical concept really stretched them. And what happens is people are going to start making mistakes. So we got uh, 83 pushing vertical on the crossing route. And then a post by Miller who was, trying to bend it at outside but then post and then they just sneak it behind so really nicely set up as you see the ball's just inaccurate 
And that's tough. That's tough. Because that's, that's the type of shot play off of play action that you feel like we really got this. And they do it like a play action veer. And then last second bring back the rollout protection. So it's blocked up nicely. I mean, there's really not. And, and this is what you have to do. Because as I mentioned in my recap, the defense the Chiefs were playing was begging you. Like, we don't respect your ability to pick us apart. So we're going to have people run across the field to get in position in the zone. And then people get lost. Somebody gets wide open. And you got to make him pay for it. He had time. And he does what he usually does. He overshoots on the deep ball. Um, usually if he misses. Okay. That was a spike. <laughs> Funny. They should not have put that in there. But second and nine. Couldn't see what quarter it was. But under center. We got three to the right. Play action here. And see, this is the thing, like, we want to continue to do these play action rollouts and boots and nakeds, and nobody believes it. Like, you have to be able to run the ball first before you can do this. And so, especially with Trubisky's ability against pressure, they just punch the backside and make sure that they have pressure in his face, even if it's a fake. And so you got Robinson coming across. You got a curl route, which I don't understand those two concepts. And then you got another curl route. First of all, that's a hard throw to make. That throw's okay, but it's right in the same area where Robinson's coming. I, I don't understand the, the route design on that one. I mean, not that it mattered because they was in his face anyway. And so that's not... Uh, offensive line thing that's that's a blitz thing <laughs> they got more people in your play action in and roll into a spot where you don't have protection and they got more than we can block so again sometimes the defense wins and they put a, they call a good play so it's first and 10 now third quarter there we go So motion, two by two on the center, play action again. And I'm going to just assume he was trying to throw that ball away. Let's go back, though, and look at the route concept. But again, with the play action, especially when they're heavy blitzing, like they've been blitzing you all night. Um Play action is a little tough one to <laughs> pull off. So we got one, and this is what we saw later. <sighs> this is kind of annoying. Not, not that this was bad, but this is the exact same route concept we saw later on 4th and 26 or 24. So it's like we didn't run anything different or think of anything. We ran the same little outbreaking route. Nod to the inside, outbreak on the flag. And but we're rolling that way. So these two routes were never ever going to be come into play. So those were all decoys. And so the route that you really or oh, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of the last play. We we didn't roll a play action, but so they weren't decoys. Um, but those are tough plays to make. They're out breaking. And then you got one dragging across, kind of like a wheel. I don't know, man. That was messy. I mean, the pressure doesn't help. It, it throws all the time and off, so definitely uh, recognizing that. So we get to play action from here. Running back stays in to help. Now you got all this space. This is what I don't understand. Why'd you step up to the pressure into a spot where you have to throw off platform, you're not accurate, and that's not him throwing it away. Now that I'm watching it from his perspective, excuse me, that's him just trying to make a play and it's super inaccurate. At this point, step up here. I get you that you see it's a man, uh, but you can make that throw from here. You just made that throw so much harder for yourself. 
And so I, I don't know, man. That's that's frustrating. Because I get you want to get over to the right where he's going, but you're going into pressure. You can't step up into that throw. If you could step up to the throw, but you're slightly uh, cross body, that's probably still going to be give you a little bit of a better chance. And that's just that's nowhere near. That's crazy. It'd be one thing if it was pressure right in his face, but he had space to step up. He just stepped into the pressure. All right, so goal line or white zone. So we do a, a little sprint out. Running back blocks the edge. And I guess it's just supposed to be a back shoulder fade type deal. And just a little inaccurate. I mean, the corner does a good job. But, yeah, you got to be accurate on those plays where you could put it where only the receiver can catch it. And you can see a lot of these movement plays that everybody's been asking for, giving them short fields. And short option. But. Didn't really help out. But the problem with that stuff. Is that it only gives you a few options. That you can go to. It, you, it literally cuts the field. So we already covered this one. In our fourth down plays. Uh, if you didn't check that out. Fade up to Robinson. And just a little bit of an accurate ball. That's one that you want to see. Have a little more air under it. So that the receiver can go over uh, the D-back. But you could tell the ball was right at the D-back's hands level. So, tough to do. But putting it up to Robinson, who's a 50-50 guy, I'm not mad at. Not mad at the decision. Just the accuracy was off. All right. So, three to the right and a bunch. So, you go with. And one of those drops that we're famous for. <laughs> but, no, we run our curl pattern. And we just had a drop there. If I never see that curl pattern again. And who's 43? I was wondering that. Let's see. First and 10. Three to the right. Take another shot with the back shoulder. This time the whims. Let's see what everybody else is running. Horse there. I don't know what he's doing, but he's getting jammed all the way up. I'm guessing this was supposed to be a four vert. I don't know. But anyway, vertical play. Took a shot with whims. And I say that's on him. I mean, let me look one more time. Let me look one. <laughs> He's pretty well covered. I mean, he uncovers well at the end of the play. Trubisky gave him a shot. Ah, eh, I take it back. <laughs> that, that was that was way too inside. Uh, he still could have made the catch, but it wasn't an easy catch at all. All right, let's see, two by two. Just why, but why though? <laughs> but why throw it into the middle of three people? So we got the drag here. We got the post coming here. Vertical, vertical. And for some reason we go to the triple coverage. And this is a first down. And just, just a poor decision. I mean, you could take your chance with, I mean, first down, you could really go short, get some yards, but you could have took your chance either side on the outside. But Stead goes over the middle for some reason. Nearly intercepted. Let's look at the pass pro. 
do a little bit of a gain, but pocket's clean. Pocket's perfectly clean. I have no idea what Trubisky was th- or why he was throwing there. All right, second and 10, fourth quarter, three by one. And okay. This looks like some type of curl concept again. Those are like spot routes. I don't know. <laughs> Those are like spot routes with the little flat, similar to our curl stuff. To recoin with the concentration drop. All right, first and 10. Three by one again. Curl concept takes the shot to vertical. And it was there. Nobody covering the middle. Man coverage. That's what you want. Just inaccurate. See the pass pro on that. I mean, he just missed. The pressure came late, but he was already set up to throw before that. All right, second and very long. And a dropped by 43, who again, I'm not sure who that is. Uh, But we got three by one. And we just run the same curl concept, same little spot route concept. So third and eight. Uh, Let's see what happened here. So we got trips to the left. Looks like a standard vertical. Looks like it was slightly uh, underthrown. It's hard to see from that angle. Hopefully they show it here. But it looked like a good decision. Looked like Robinson was a uh, had a step. I mean, yeah, that's in between the safety and the corner. Well, no, not on the throne. He had his hands on it. You would have to count that as a drop for Robinson. Uh, fourth down, as as I mentioned before, we looked at these. Uh, this one just gets away from Trubisky, I guess. He just really underthrows it. And this was an interesting route combo. We ran two out routes. And then two post routes. I like the spacing of it. It really uh, opened up some lanes against the defense, but pass just wasn't there. And so we'll look at it from the pass pro side, but it wasn't anything egregious. I think he had the pocket to make a throw. Okay. Take that back a little bit. <laughs> I mean, it was a delayed blitz, but... I mean, you just can't keep drifting back in the pocket. I mean, it was the blitz was good, but you just can't keep drifting back in the pocket. That's one of the things is that you just make yourself a target when you do that. When you don't try to step up at all or manipulate left or right, you're just really making yourself an easier target for pass rushers. But anyway, so those incomplete passes, a uh, general theme that I saw is bad accuracy, as we usually know. Um, and, uh, I didn't get too much into the offensive line because there was a lot of blitzing, but from what I seen and from what I seen the run game, which we'll check out uh, later as well, uh, I think Larson helped. I mean, well, the thing is they don't have like any super speed on their line, but either way, I think it helped and it was, uh, improved pass pro 
than it usually is. And so there's some of these times where, again, I've been talking all season about this. Yes, we need to upgrade an O-line, but, man, people keep up oh, now. Nah, everybody's a turnstile. Uh, we need five new linemen. Like, shut. It's not that. It's really not. Like, y'all giving too much blame. Like, there's definitely times and other play- certain players need to upgrade. But you look at it. Trubisky doesn't help himself at all either. And there's times he has pocket and still makes bad plays. That's the thing that kills me is that, let somebody get quick penetration. See, see, the offense line is terrible. But you point out all these plays where he stands in a clean pocket and makes bad plays, and people just gloss over that. Oh, we never want to talk about that. So it's just it's just annoying when people don't take the all the information. People want to take information that supports them. Take all the information. This is consistent information. We've been covering this all season. And so it is what it is. But anyway, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'll get the completions up uh, probably tomorrow. Um, but uh, go to the comment section. Let me know what you think. Share it around. Get the conversation started. Uh, thumbs up. Subscribe. And remember, stay up and bear down.